Hi there, this is Dr. Liu. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a, an apparatus I constructed with Vernier's um, dynamic track and also force gauges. And I call it the smart track because with force gauges on the track, um, the, uh, the Vernier uh, LabQuest is able to tell uh, where exactly a cart is on the track. So in that sense, it is uh, kind of smart. Uh, being able to tell where exactly an object is on, on top of itself. So let's take a quick look at the smart track. Here's the smart track. You can see this black track is Vernier's dynamic track, and we also have this uh, Vernier cart. And um, on the bottom of the track, you can see the support is is basically sitting on top of this uh, black box, which is a Vernier. Uh, dual range force gauge and on the right side there are two such gauges so that uh, the the track can uh, get stability from the, the three points otherwise if we only had one on the right side just like the left side the track will wobble and uh, the uh, force gauges are connected to this box which I call open source physics laboratory box what it does is it actually senses the force gauges and uh, and calculates the position of the uh, the cart on the track based on basically just physical uh, physics principle of uh, equilibrium rotational equilibrium and and uh, translational equilibrium the forces the torques and it is able to simulate or emulate sonic grandeur so that when the uh, lab quest pulls the uh, position it is able to display the position on screen as if it were talking to a sonic grandeur. And as we can see, the, uh, the position is 1.4, uh, 2 or 4, 3 meters. So let's take a look here. The cart is about 42, 43 centimeters on the track. So why is there a 1 meter? Well, the reason is because we're emulating a sonic ranger, and the sonic ranger cannot really report a 0 meters. So in order to get everything to make more sense, I added a 1 meter delay in the time so that it shows up as one meter plus the uh, the actual position of the of the cart on the track. So let's take a quick look at what we can do with this. So I'll just put the cart on the left side and on the right end of the track I have the uh, magnetic bumper so the cart will bounce back as, uh, as it approaches the uh, the bumper and we'll start recording data with the uh, Vernier uh, lab quest. So Let's get started. I'll push the card. Bounce this back. And I'll stop it manually. Okay, we can take a look here. And you can see the data shows a very smooth increase in the position. And then there's a sharp turn and there's also a very smooth decrease of position. And this uh, basically corresponds to the uh, uh, the cart moving to the right and then bounces off the, uh, uh, the the magnetic bumper and then starts moving to the left. And the velocity graph is also very similar. Uh, there's positive velocity and suddenly a negative velocity.